Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my March debt totals. So let's get started. All right. So in March, my family's grand debt total is $118,585.18, which means that from our previous total, which was $118,818.29, we paid off for the month, at least principal only, $233.11. So let's break it down. As always, our student debt total is remaining the same because we're not currently making payments on it and it is the bulk of our debt. So we're looking at $100,631.61 and that covers two masters for me and my husband and some of the undergrad debt for him. So. Let's keep going. Next, this is the one that's still tricky to talk about just because it's been fluctuating a lot and that is credit card debt. It's not my credit card debt, but my husband's credit card debt. And we're gonna talk about that it actually went up a little bit this month. Last month, we owed $359.83, but this month our grand total is $378.41. So just in case, our credit card went up by $18.58. So what happened? Well, my husband put the jerseys for his um, like softball team on his credit card and we're still waiting for people to pay him back. But we also put on the credit card Airbnb for our family trip in July. We actually paid that off in full. It was like $560. And again, that was paid off in full, but we also still had the other charge of the jerseys and since it is rolling over as well as the fact that there's like other smaller purchases and also my husband in particular likes to use them to gain mileage and since we are actually planning on having family vacations this year it made sense generally usually if we put a charge on a credit card we pay it in full for the month but again we have a couple of things that are waiting on other people to pay us back and last but not least our final debt is my 2017 minivan it is a honda odyssey we we recently purchased it back in December because our other Honda Odyssey was going to have a couple more repairs on it. It was very high mileage and it just didn't make sense. So we need a car for our family and we had to get another one. So our balance on the Honda Odyssey is $17,575.16. Previously, it was $17,826.85, so we paid down $251.69. Again, this is just the general usual minimum payment. It's higher, obviously, because the rest goes to interest, but we didn't apply any extra this month. All right, so what does this video tell you? Well, honestly, it just tells you that in my case, for my family, debt repayment is not a main goal, at least not right now. So we are making our minimum payments and we are making progress on our debt payments, but we're not focusing on it. We're not throwing anything extra on it and that's okay. Things happen, life happens, and it's all right to not be hyper fixated on paying off our debts, especially when we have a situation that allows for that. Another thing is that adults don't like paying for fees and related things when it comes to team sports. I remember as a kid, my parents going, Ugh, when they had to pay for sports stuff for us as kids, but apparently adults don't like paying it for themselves either. And you know what? It just is what it is and that's totally okay. We will definitely be getting their money back at some point, but it's all right and we should be fine and know that, hey, this situation, we could just pay it off ourselves and that's it. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful in a way, I guess. I just know that some people like transparency and it's weird to be like, yeah, I'm a financial coach, but I also have debt because guess what? I do and I'm totally okay with that. And so are my clients. They like knowing that there's somebody who's been through the ropes, has had way higher debt and made a plan to attack it and also is not so like you have to like get rid of everything and pay it off. Like to me, it's not a death sentence. And so my clients in particular enjoy that they too don't feel like it's a death sentence and some people can use it strategically. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.